Hi everyone. Well, this, if you can hear that bell in the background, is like a picturesque village. We're actually stood in England. And this, to my left, is Howard. Hi. And Howard, you may have heard me speak in previous videos about a paranormal investigation team I was part of called Spirit Quest UK. And it was Howard that founded uh, Spirit Quest UK and a quite a well-known paranormal investigation team and um, done work for the BBC and stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, it was a pleasure to be part of it, really. <laughs> but anyway, today, Howard doesn't live far away from here. No, about four miles. Four far. miles away. And I popped out to see him. It's a bit of a dull day, but... Uh, to say the least. To say the least, yeah. Especially after the sun we've had. Yeah. <laughs> but... Um, this place here, as you can see, well, maybe that's better, that there is known as Fandon Bridge or Holt Bridge and in that direction is Fandon, England and over there is Holt and this river marks the boundary between England and Wales and as I say we're stood on um, England at the minute and some cows over there, see them? <laughs> But uh, look at this old bridge, sandstone bridge, isn't it? Yeah. What were you saying about that double arch there? There's a double arch there, that's where there was like um, a tower, like all old bridges, it's medieval bridge. Yeah. So where the double arch was, there was like uh, a tower, like old oh, bridges right. had like a tall tower, whatever it was for. And that was, it's gone centuries ago, but the double arch was there to reinforce it, to take the extra weight of the tower. Oh. And it's also haunted, of course. Very haunted, yeah. Good uh, investigation. Yeah. In the future. Yeah. <laughs> Where we <does>. Yeah. <laughs> Shouts to agree many times in the rain. You have. Yeah. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> I remember being here once on a motorbike and it was absolutely emptying it down. <laughs> Did it you come down here? Yeah, it was a thunderstorm. We're just so going. there for about an hour, I think. Under this bridge. And, uh, Oh, you can hear very echoey. Right. So, we're coming through now. And, uh, oh, there you are. You can see the other side of the bridge, how old this bridge is, look. I'm not sure if it dates from the 12 or 1300s, I can't remember. Very old. Medieval. Very old, isn't it, yeah. What were you saying about the story with the... The two princes. There were two. There were two princes. Uh, I can't remember the story exactly, but th something goes like this: there were two princes, and they they were due to inherit. I don't know if it was the kingdom or a lot of property or something like that. And they had a very horrible uncle who was like their guardian. And um, what he did is he found that they were good. Their father had died. Their uncle had become their guardian, and they were going to inherit. Um, I don't know if it's property or the kingdom, I can't remember all the details. Um, but he was so jealous and he wanted what he wanted their inheritance. So one night he came over the bridge with them and he actually threw them over the river bridge, over the bridge into the river, and they drowned in the water. And legend says that if you come here at night, um, in the dead of night, people have often heard the screams of the two princes splashing around yeah. in the water. As they died, yeah. As they died. Horrible story. Yeah. We're just heading. There's the bridge there, and we're just walking towards this board, really. Um, it's a beautiful place. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, so. Oh, it's like a public footpath. Yeah. yeah. Private fishing. You can't come here in the winter though, because the river's all up here. Is it? So it does yeah. flood, yeah. I've been here in the winter and the river is so wide, it is literally from this field here, right across to that sort of bank over there. Is it? Yeah. And it's right up to the top of the bridge almost. It's amazing the bridge you stood all the centuries because the 
the amount of flood water that goes up against it is absolutely yeah. immense. It's so quite deep. It's absolutely lovely actually, it's like the Mississippi in the Yeah, <laughs> wide isn't it? Yeah, it is. Huge river. And uh, look at this red sandstone all along. Beautiful place. See, you wouldn't know about these places. Local knowledge. Ah. So thanks for sharing this. No, you're welcome. <laughs> well, I was going to say, um, there must be fish in here because uh, there's private fishing signs there. Eh? Just outside a very old-fashioned butcher's so I'm going to pop in and get myself a pound of dry cured bacon. So I stood in Farndon, absolutely beautiful village like going back in time and to your right is a shop owned by a very famous person and it was Princess Diana's butler Paul Burrell. Okay, so we're just stood outside the main door of St Chad's Church here in Holt. And we thought we'd have a quick look around and it is said that it was um, built around the 13th century. And uh, Howard's just pointed out to me um, some musket ball, what they believe are musket ball holes just around the edge of the door frame. Yeah, there, there was it? a skirmish in the Civil War between the Roundheads and the Royalists and I'm not sure which party were kind of barricaded inside the church and the others were trying to get at them and there was actually musket shots and things fired at the church they did a lot of damage to the church at that point and around the doorway you can actually see um, little holes that are said to be from the musket shots mm -hmm. during that period So we're very lucky the uh, church door was open which is quite rare these days and uh, this is the inside of St. Chad's Church. And so it states on a board that that is a Roman column. But what were you saying? You think it's medieval? medieval? I'd say it was medieval. Yeah.
and actually St Chad's Church is the first church in Wales when you come from England and especially Farndon. Yep. And uh, this is Holt Endowed School, which uh, was from 1874 to 1977. And of course now it's a house. Okay, we're going to head down this dark lane. <laughs> and uh, we'll tell you what's there when we get there. Holt Castle today is just like a, just a, it's just like a rock basically with a bit of masonry on the top of it. They've actually excavated it since I was here last time. But Holt Castle was quite a massive castle and what you actually see there is just the inner keep. So that would have been like the inner keep. And where we're actually standing now, for instance where that tree is, there'd have been towers. It was actually a massive castle, like, something like, well, not quite as big, but like Conway. But it had like a, an inner keep in the middle on a rock. And the idea was if the castle was penetrated, the outer walls, which are now completely gone, people could retreat to the inner keep sort of thing. And that's all that's left on the rock there. Um, but where that tree is there, there was a huge tower. And it was like, if you can imagine, towers all around it, like an octagon-shaped wall all around. That was the original size of the castle. You can imagine where I'm standing here now, this would be where the outer wall was. There would have been towers up and down the wall like the castle always had. So between where I am now and that rock in the middle where the remnants of the castle are now, it would have been like the inner courtyard of the castle between the outer wall and that little bit in the middle. And from here to those cliffs, the river, I don't know if they diverted it on purpose or if it was just that wide there, the river was around there, you see. So it was a very, very, very secure castle yeah. from an awful long time. Penetrated. Right then, so what's this place here, Howard? This is the academy, now several residential houses, but it was once, as the name says, an academy, and yeah. it was where the writer H.G. Wells worked as a teacher before he wrote uh, The Time Machine and uh, War of the Worlds, and other famous stories that he wrote. This is where he actually worked as a teacher. Interesting stuff. Mm -hmm.